Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what's new in the 2.0 version of the AXR4 tools. AXR is Steinberg's flagship audio interface with state-of-the-art sound and of course the beautiful Rupert Neve Designs silk texture which can add a little bit of magic to your recordings. We've got quite a few improvements to talk about, so let's get started. The first change I want to talk to you about is the improvements to the plugins included with the AXR interfaces, both the DSP and the native versions. The first thing you will notice is a fresh user interface. Not only this looks sharper and cleaner, the controls have moved so that they can improve usability, but now all the plugins support high DPI and the visibility is great even on high resolution monitors. The other thing that will speed up your workflow is that the stereo and mono plugin versions are now unified, which means that you don't have to load a mono or a stereo version, the plugin will be loaded with the appropriate version depending on your channel. So if you have a mono channel, a mono version will be loaded and so on and so forth. When it comes to the sweet spot morphing channel strip, we have quite a few improvements. First of all, we have a new sidechain filter right here for the compressor, which means that we can tailor the compressor exactly how we want. For example, if you want to make sure that the compressor circuit is not triggered by low frequencies and you get lots of pumping, you can tweak this with your sidechain filter. So right here, you can select the frequency that you want the sidechain filter to be in, the Q and the gain. So now you have more options when it comes to compression. Another nifty thing that we have is that on the EQ section, we have separate on-off switches for every EQ band. So you can AB the difference that every band makes really easily. And in the native version of the Sweet Spot Morphing Channel Strip, we have a spectrum view. So I can turn it on and off and I can see what's going on with my audio. The same thing is possible in the native version of the Equalizer 601. Another useful thing that's been added with this new version is that now all plugins have input and output meters, which means you can keep your levels in check, especially when you're mixing and especially when you're boosting with your EQs or your compressors. We have a new refreshed interface for the RevX reverbs as well, for the room, the plate, and the whole reverbs. And as you can see, now we have a 3D view of the reverb. You can see the frequencies, the low end, the top end, and you can start tweaking them and you can have visual feedback of what's going on on your reverb tails. If you're not familiar with these plugins already, let me play you a short example with an acoustic guitar and let's hear how these plugins sound. These are only the plugins that are included with the AXR. So as you can hear, what I've done here is I added some mild compression with a sweet spot morphing channel strip, a little bit of EQ, then I enhanced the tone with the Equalizer 601. This is a really sweet EQ. You can really boost the top end and it doesn't sound harsh. And then I made the sound a little bit more punchy with more body with a 276 compressor. This is a classic FET style compressor and it sounds lovely. And in the end, the icing of the cake, I added a little bit of RevX room to make the sound a little bit more 3D.
One thing to know for the Sweet Spot Morphing Channel Strip is that if you have presets that you have created, you can convert them to the new version very easily. You just click right here on the name, and as you can see, we have a preset converter. You can convert your old preset files on V.1.2.5 or older to the new version. If you have old presets, just click yes on this dialog and all your presets will be converted with one click. And of course, now all the plugins have AAX support as well. We also have exclusive features for Cubase users for even tighter integration with AXR interfaces. The AXR in combination with Cubase make for a really robust and tightly integrated recording and production environment. This is a massive workflow boost for any Cubase user. Let me show you. To begin with, it's very easy to stereo link channels together without opening the AXR mixer. You can do all of this in the inspector inside Cubase. As you can see, here I have my mic one, but I can link it very easily with one single tap with microphone two. So as you can see now, I have microphone one and two, and these two channels are linked. Of course, I can switch the phantom power on and off, I can engage the pad, I can switch to high Z state, so I can connect guitars or basses and record straight away. I can get my gain levels like this, I can engage the filters, I can switch the phase, and of course, I can engage the silk texture. I can choose between silk blue or silk red, and I can adjust the texture amount like this. Then I can add my DSP effects straight here in the inspector, the morphing channel strip, the compressor 276, and the equalizer 601, and I can add reverb send, a little bit of comfort reverb for my singers while being able to choose from the three different algorithms, the whole, the room, and the plate. But it gets even better. Now you can have all this integration in the Cubase Mix console window. Let me bring up my mixer here. And as you can see, I have my inputs right here. For example, these are my four mic inputs. As you can see very, very easily, I have access to all this control with a nice meter bridge in Cubase here. So I have the channel link right here. As you can see, when I engage the channel link immediately, all the controls are mirrored. So I can engage the pad, I can turn off the high Z, I can engage phantom power, I can do my filters, I can flip my face, adjust the silk texture, choose between red and blue silk, and add my inserts here. So for example, right here, I've connected a microphone, and as you can see, I can set up my gain right here, I can do my filtering, turn on the silk, and I can get a nice, smooth silky sound out of the silk or I can engage the blue silk to get a little bit more bottom end. Then maybe I want to turn on my 601 EQ to add a little bit of top end because I love the top end on this EQ. A little bit of low end here and then I'm going to add a little bit of reverb with the RevX plate. One, two, three. So as you can imagine, with multi-channel recordings, this is going to be such a massive feature because you have access on all your channels and all the settings of the AXR straight into Cubase and you don't have to leave the mix console window ever. You can even switch your inputs from minus 10 dBV, plus 4 dBU 14 and plus 4 dBU 20. So pretty much every AXR setting is now accessible in Cubase. And now all these AXR controls are always available independently of your I.O. setup in the studio connections. So no special audio connection setup is required so that you have all this tight integration. Now it's also easier to set your most important parameters in the main display on the actual unit so less menu diving is required. So for example, if I want to change the settings for my first microphone preamp, I can just just select it and as you can see all the most important settings are already there so my gain I just push and I can change my gain then I push again texture I can change the texture for my silk I can change the silk type from red to blue I can turn the silk on and off I can engage the pad so all the important parameters are right there on the first screen. And then if I scroll, I can switch the phantom power on and off, 
I can invert the phase, I can engage the high pass filter, and I can turn on the high Z input for guitar and bass recording. And everything is right there and really accessible. You can also set your screen to return to home after a certain amount of time. You can set this up in the system setup screen. All you need to do is hit setup, scroll down to return to home, push it, and here you can choose how long it's going to take the AXR to return to the home screen. So we can choose between 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, three minutes, and never. With this new update, you can also set multiple mix buses and control their level on the meter screen. This allows you to control the level of multiple buses in a surround environment. In order to do this, you just need to push the monitor button and go to the main out setup. Now, all we need to do is push in. As you can see right now, I can control the main output setup of the line out one and line out two. But I can also say I want to control output three and four, five and six, and this will also be reflected now on the main output volume page. So as you can see, now we're controlling outputs from one to six. You can achieve the same result on the new AXR DSP mix effects window. Right here, all you need to do is engage the main out button on each one of the outputs you want to control. And now you will see that when I adjust the volume on my AXR, all these channels are going to follow. So that's really powerful, especially when you're working on multiple speakers on a surround setup. So there you go, these are just a few changes and improvements on the new AXR4 Tools version 2.0. The new AXR Tools are available to download for free, so check the link below to get them now. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy.